All right, class. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being on time. Once again, uh, we are going to uh, complete the class from yesterday, and we will try to explain the class from today. All right, today it's uh, Tuesday, right? October 18, 17, or 19? What day? 19. Are you sure? 18. 18, right? 18. 18. 18. All right. Very, very good. No, and I and I like the way that you that you mentioned 19. Bien segura. Bien seguro. 19. <laughs> ah, okay. Yo estoy, yo me equivoqué, pero. Not, a, not, not a problem. Not a problem. Okay. So let's start. Uh let's start over with our previous class. And let's go and let's get motivated. All right. So today and tomorrow will be our last classes, right? So let's see. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. One second, let's see. All right, let's see. Let me share this part with you guys. And once again, thank you so much for being on time. Let me share this motivation quote. All right, guys, before we start, uh, we've, before we start our classes, uh, I already sent you the PPT, right? I don't know if you guys uh, could open it. Pudieron abrirlo? Yes, Very good. Excellent. I just want to make sure that you guys, uh, uh, that you guys already checked, you know, the PPT, all right? Remember, PPT means PowerPoint presentation, right? So... For next time, you already know that. Okay, so now, guys, let's see. Remember, today and tomorrow, we we have our last classes, right? So for that reason, we need to be motivated all the time, all right? All the time. No matter what happens early today, pero usted tiene que estar motivado. No, no importa lo que haya pasado hoy en la... Si le hicieron el día de cuadritos en el trabajo, no se preocupe. Hoy se va a reír un poco, okay? So let's... Uh, let's uh, Let's set uh, motivation. Come on, let's go. Motivation. Repeat. Motivation. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Everybody needs to be motivated because um, without motivation, life is like, we. I mean, it's sad. I mean, your life is going to be weird, sad, maybe annoying. All right. So, va a ser triste, aburrida, rara. Entonces, you need to be motivated, all right? So now our quote that we are going to read tonight, it says like this. It doesn't matter what others are doing. It matters what you are doing. Okay, let me repeat it back to you one more time. It doesn't matter what others are doing. It matters what you are doing. Okay, ¿qué quiere decir esto? ¿O qué significa esto en nuestros quehaceres? Se ha fijado que hay gente bien, este, no, sí, tal vez envidiosa, ¿verdad? En el sentido de que no porque usted tenga o no tenga, eh, hablando ya de, de, de dinero, ¿verdad? Pero envidiosa en el sentido de que no le gusta que usted se supere, ¿verdad? Y dicen, míralo, míralo, y dice que está aprendiendo inglés y no aprende, y no, y no aprende ¿verdad? Así dicen, aprende. Que si no es aprender, no que aprende, ¿verdad? Y no, y no aprende nada, dice. Pero ¿qué dice acá el quote? La motivación de esta noche. Primero, agradecerle, darle, la, darle las gracias que están, este, ¿cómo se dice? Se están, están haciendo un sacrificio por estar en esta hora, que no cualquiera lo hace, y felicitarlo, ¿verdad? Porque han avanzado bastante. Y lo que dice acá es, no importa lo que otros estén haciendo. Lo que importa es lo que tú estás haciendo. ¿Ok? It doesn't matter. Let's repeat. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. One more time. It doesn't matter. What others are doing. What others are doing. It matters. It matters. It matters. What you are doing. What, what you are, are doing. doing. Acuérdese de eso. 
no importa lo que otro esté haciendo, a usted que no le interese qué está haciendo el vecino, el, la vecina, el primo, la tía, el hermano, quien sea. Lo que importa es lo que usted está haciendo y el sacrificio que usted está haciendo esta noche para aprender a hablar inglés. All right, so mándeme un like y le voy a creer que usted lo va a pensar así, se lo va a meter en su cabecita all the time. You need to be motivated, remember, motivation, okay? Very good, excellent. Let's rock and roll the class and let's see. We are going to double check a quick statement. I'm sorry, a quick uh, details and new topic, all right, related to the topics that we've been checking before. Vamos a chequear unos temas relacionados a los temas que valga la redundancia que hemos verificado o chequeado anteriormente, ¿verdad? Ok, let's go ahead and vamos a la plataforma y vamos a arrancar con un nuevo tema, all right? So, remember, last time the, the topic that we checked was stories, right? Stories. If I, if I, uh, if I ask you guys, or if I am asking questions about what guys remember about the previous class, what would be your answer? Anybody can tell me what was the last class that we checked through the platform? ¿Qué fue lo que chequeamos en la, plata, en la plataforma la vez pasada? Anybody can tell me? One, five, four, three, two, one, boom. Todos explotaron. Okay, so let's see. Remember the, the previous uh, topic that we checked were, all right? So let me, fíjense en la palabra que acabo de decir y de eso se va a tratar el, el nuevo tema de ese día. Previous topics. Topics. Plural, right? Plural. Previous topics that we checked last class was or where 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 Ooh. right where estoy hablando de esto verdad no lo quiero confundir pero quiero que tengamos la idea concreta a lo que a lo que quiero introducir verdad All right topic tonight would be let's see give me one second Lo voy a poner todo en capital, en mayúscula. No le estoy gritando. Solamente para que se mire más grande, ¿verdad? All right. What's and where? So, the same thing would be, it's like a, if you are talking in plural and singular. Singular, plural, right? If I, if I, am, if I am talking by myself, I will say, I was. All right. So, but now I just mentioned that they. The, the topics, right? ¿Quiénes son los topics? ¿Quiénes son los temas? Ellos. All right? Y tal vez usted me puede decir, Dios mío, Dios mío, uh, coach, no le entiendo porque si hablamos de personal pronouns, solo estamos hablando de personas. Sí. Pero al mismo tiempo estamos hablando de las cosas que se relacionan a ellos, ellas, si me explico. Por ejemplo, si usted, le voy a hacer un ejemplo bien, bien concreto para que le quede claro. Cuando usted se expresa de, un, de su mascota, ¿verdad que no, usted no se expresa de, sus, de su mascota? Usted no le dice eso o, o esa, mas, esa, esa, esa chucha usted se, o ese chucho o ese perro. Usted dice él, el perro, la perra. Y, y, y entonces en inglés también sería lo mismo, ¿verdad? Porque en teoría usted me diría, pero es que perro no es, no es, una, no es, no es una persona. Le vamos a poner el, el it, el it. Pero no es así. Lo vamos a, lo vamos a identificar como él y ella. All right? Entonces, a lo que quiero llegar aquí, que estábamos en que los temas que vimos ayer están relacionados con el tema que vamos a ver ahora. Pero como yo les dije, los temas fueron, entonces sería, the topics were simple past, just no question, and simple past, what? Regular statements, right? So, ahí nos quedamos, ok? So, quiero que me vaya entendiendo. Si no me, si no me ha agarrado ahorita todavía el, el lilito, levántame la mano y yo me detengo para que entienda este tema porque es bien, es bien interesante. 
quiero que lo, 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 lo dijera bien, lo absorba y lo dijera bien, ¿verdad? Lo agarre bien, en otras palabras. Ok, so, now, uh, it says like this, lesson adjective. By the end of this class, you will be able to form positive and negative statements with the past of B. Additionally, you will practice, give me one second, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic, how this topic is used in a real life setting. All right, so dice al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar oraciones positivas y negativas. En pasado son el verso, el verso ser. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Ok, very good. Ok, vamos a ver el primer uh, video relacionado a esto. ¿Tiene alguna preguntita? Antes que pasemos a este video, mi estimado, estimada. No, no questions. Do you have any question, no, guys? No question, coach. No, no questions. Everything is clear. Clear. Yes. Uh, clear, clear, clear as water. Yes? Yes. Very good, very good. Okay, pay attention to this uh, information, okay? Statements using the past of B. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of B. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah. But I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Antes de continuar, mis uh, estimados y estimadas, ¿están viendo los subtítulos abajo? Yes. Yes, coach. Uh, yes. Okay, very, very good, very good, very good. Póngale ahí este quinta para que los lea rápido, ¿verdad? Porque no quiero que se me, se me, no los entienda. Quiero que los dijera bien, ¿ok? Very good. Let's see. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Okay. It's the Tómele captura de pantalla o, o escríbalo para que no se le olvide cuándo se va a utilizar el, a dónde va a utilizar el where y el was. ¿Qué es el where y el was de acuerdo a lo que, a lo que vamos eh, en el tema, mi estimada Nidia? ¿Cuál sería? La pregunta es bien 
Capcio, no capciosa, pero ¿cuál sería para usted el where y el was? De acuerdo al tema que estamos es, eh, eh, re, verificando, Nidia Jamilex. Es como decir, era en tiempo pasado. Correcto, sí, sí. Pero de acuerdo al tema, ¿qué es was and where? Dígame, José. Es el pasado del verbo to be. El pasado del verbo to be. The pass of be. All right. So, acuérdense de eso, mi estimada Nidia. The pass of be. All right. So, thank you. Very good. Very good. Not a problem. Not a problem. All right. So, y now where we are going to apply where and was. Lo acaba de decir el maestro. ¿verdad? Para los pronouns, you, we, they. Vamos a utilizar where. Para los pronouns, I, he, she, it, va a ser el was. Ok, let's go. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally, we will include a complement born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement and the US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with being about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. You, we, we need to remember All right, I just wanna make sure guys, that you understood this conversation. I just want to make sure if you guys understood. Quiero estar seguro si entendieron esta conversación. And remember, of course, we are talking about was and were. Así si usted se fija, los muchachos, donde es Chuck y Melissa, they were talking and past most of the time. Ellos estaban hablando, they were talking and past. Set in past tense, right? So, and, for example, this is Chuck. Where were you born, Melissa? Le pregunta, ¿Dónde naciste, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Yo nací en Korea. Oh, so you went, uh, you weren't born in the in United States? Entonces, no. O sea que tú no naciste en los Estados Unidos. No, le dice, I came here in 1999. Vine en 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Ah, estaba bien pequeña, estaba bien jovencita. 
Yes, I was only 17, le dice Melissa. Viene, viene Chuck y si se fija, aquí empezamos a usar el did. Lo que estábamos trabajando ayer. Remember? Did you go to college right away? ¿Fuiste de una sola vez a la universidad? No, my English, my English, I'm sorry, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Mi inglés no estaba, no estaba muy bien y tomé una clase de inglés por dos años primero. Well, your English is really good now, le dice Chuck. Y viene ella y le dice, thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here, le dice. O sea, como que no le entendió a la niña, ¿verdad? Pero él le dice, sí, pero, pero que yo, es que yo nací aquí, le dice. Como que dice, hello, you know, my English is good because... I was born here. Come on. All right. So very good. Very good. Very good. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de esta conversación? Mis kiddos, my kiddos. No, no questions about this. Está claro. Como el agua. Is that clear? So far, so good, teacher. So far, so good. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Any questions? Dígame. Eh... El, el where del, del to be Ajá. En, la, en el primer diálogo en el primero permítame vamos a ver ya le digo permítame ok esta cosa se ha hecho bien diferente no está como como antes, permítame, vamos a ver. One second. Jesus, where are they? Okay, permítame. Okay, just a moment. All right, so. Usted me dice por acá. Ajá, en eso. Que where, ahí dice dónde naciste. Where were you born? Ajá, where were you born, Melissa? Entonces el where es como es era pregunta. o estaba. Esa es la pregunta. No. Ajá. ¿Dónde eh, es como dónde tú naciste? El, el where, donde es el W-E-R-E. -E, es pass of B, pero como le está preguntando a ella, acuérdese que el, el word se le va a aplicar a, a you, lo que decía el caballero, a you, I, ¿en cuál era? ¿y cuál otro? ¿Se recuerda? Pero no Where is we, para day. we, you, they? Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. Permítame, oh, voy a borrar. Acá. Yo también tenía esa duda, pero ¿por qué where si es a una mujer? O sea, es a chi. O oh, porque él le está preguntando directamente a ella. Le está, y a pesar de eso, le, le dice su nombre. O sea, ahí está como no contradictorio, pero le dice, Where were you born, Melissa? Que no es right. tercera persona. Mm, ajá, es tercera, es tercera persona. Vamos a ver, permítame. Quiero ver cómo borro acá. Pues, vamos a ver. Permítame. No sé qué, como que se ha desactualizado el, el, ¿cómo se llama? Oh, aquí está. Ok, vamos a ver. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. With the past of B. Young. You weren't. Uh, what wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. Ahí estamos, ahí estamos claro, ¿verdad? Donde dice subject, was, were, and complement. Ahí usted va a utilizar de igual manera was o were 
Entonces, si nos vamos para acá, el where se le aplica a you, we, they. El was se le aplica a I, he, she, it. ¿Sí? Entonces, la pregunta que usted me dice, mi estimado uh, Carlos, dice, where were you born? Where were you born? Entonces, este, este aplica. We need to remember. Este muchacho aplica where, porque aquí está con you. Si yo le pregunto, where were you born, Carlos? What would be your answer? Si estamos hablando en pasado, del B, ¿cuál, cómo, me conces, ¿cómo me conces? I was. I was what? I was born. In? In. in Usulután. El Salvador, right? El Salvador. Uh -huh. Salvador. Uh -huh. Ya si quieres ser específico, pues ya me dice, ¿verdad? I was born in Usulután. I mean, ya me da más detalles, pero... Ajá, pero lo, lo que yo, la pregunta, lo que quería llegar era que, que ese where, eh, que si no se traducía. El, este de acá, el where. Sí, no, ese. Este de acá, el where. Pues ah. acuérdese, acuérdese que es el pasado de B. <coughs> el, el pasado de B. Don, el pasado de B. ¿Dónde naciste? ¿Dónde naciste, Carlos? Es el pasado de B. Pero ese word se le aplica a solamente a tú, a ellos, a ellos y a nosotros. Pero la traducción, la traducción solamente es el pasado de be, que es el where y el was. Si usted, yo digo, I was, yo estuve, tú estuviste. Entonces, usted en ese caso, usted diría, tú naciste. ¿A dónde tú naciste? Y como ahí, ahorita este, 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 podríamos decirlo en este caso, este auxiliar was and were, sería el prácticamente el, el auxiliar que va a tener, va a estar con el verbo, porque si nos rezamos acá a la pregunta, mire, dice, I was born in Korea, you were pretty, pretty good, no, no, esa no, esa no es la pregunta, este, ya le contesto José David, permítame un momento, aquí está, entonces, Acá, este es el pasado de be, de ser, o estar, perdón, de estar, Ajá. el pasado. Este se le va a aplicar a usted, que es su, su persona, o sea, su tercera persona en este caso. Y entonces, born quiere decir nacer. Entonces, al, al relacionar este, este verbo con este auxiliar, ya le ponemos el, el WS question, que sería la pregunta. Where, where, where were you born? Carlos, ¿dónde? O sea nació? que ese where es como, como el auxiliar did. El auxiliar did en este caso en pasado. Es como que. Es el auxiliar como el auxiliar did, pero este es el pasado de be. Ajá, entonces al poner eh, esa palabra, el where, eh, es como que al verbo lo, lo convierte en pasado también. Lo, ajá, porque ahí, ajá, lo, ahí lo pone, le pone ¿Dónde naciste? Where were you born? Acuérdense que siempre se, no, es que lo, no es que lo ponga, que así es Porque el tema es El eh, was, in, eh, was in Where Of be El pasado de estar En presente, si ¿Sí me explico No sé si me, me, me agarra El, el punto Sí, uh, más okay. o menos. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Ya vamos a ver otros ejercicios para que ya le quede más claro, no se preocupe. Ok, dígame, licenciado, alguien me, me puso ahí una pregunta ahí. No, ver... solamente eh, era como añadir lo que preguntaba el compañero. Uh -huh. eh, sí, es como usar el did en Exacto. una pregunta. Es como cuando vos usás en el presente simple el do. Siempre va acompañado del verbo, do, por ejemplo, do you play? Pero en este caso, como es en pasado, usas el where y el was. Exactly. Junto con el, el subject más el verbo. Very good. Yes. Por esa razón les está dando aquí el, el licenciado. Your English is young. Acá. You weren't. They were in Koreans. Wasn't equals was not. And in the same year. Young. I was in the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. 
Si usted se fija ahí, Carlos, estos ejemplos, el auxiliar acá en este caso sería was, were, was, were, were. Y los, los verbos, pues ahí están, ¿verdad? I was born in Korea. You were pretty young. She was 17. All right. We were born in the same year. They were in Korea in 1998. Lo que acaba de decir el compañero, el complemento, pues es... Lo dejó más claro y muchas gracias. Se lo agradezco que eso es el, el complemento que yo le quería dar a entender. Tal vez yo no se lo expliqué en una mejor manera, pero ese es el auxiliar que usted va a utilizar en el, en el, en el pasado de be. Do, o en el pasado del verb to be, ¿ok? So, vamos a pasar a otro. ¿Alguna otra preguntita, mis niños? Ya me hicieron sudar. <laughs> very good, very good. Nice, nice, nice. So, any other question, guys? No, no. questions? Okay, excellent. No, no Give me one, me one second. Let's see. All right, let's see. In one second. Are you able to see this? Okay. First, we are going to questions with was and were and was were. Esto está mejor. Vamos a ver. ¿Lo pueden ver? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Yes. All right. So, what you guys need to do is just to create or build lo que tiene que hacer es crear o armar the sentence la oración cómo iría con el was and were ok con la poca información que usted acaba de entender hasta este momento ok let's go let's see solo porque me preguntó Carlos él me va a contestar la primera solo por eso me voy a desquitar Carlos con usted <laughs> alright Carlos let's go First question, Carlos. Oops. Tengo que ordenarlas. Ordenarlas, sí. Um, the girls mm -hmm. were uh, yesterday at the gym. Mm, por ahí, pero lo, 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 al revés. The girls, the girls were were at the gym yes. yesterday. Very good, excellent. Uh, at the gym, at the gym, at gym yesterday. Excellent, very good, very good. Okay, so let's see, uh, Wilbur, be my guest, please. They were um, late for class. They were late for class. Everybody's agree? Yes, right? They were late for class. Ellos estuvieron, ellos, ellos estuvieron tarde para la clase. Very good, very good. Let's see, Miss Simada Camila, be my guest, please. Danny was at the party yesterday. Excellent. Very good. Danny was at the party yesterday. Very good. You know, subject, auxiliary, uh, subject, auxiliary verb, complement, right? Danny was at the party yesterday. Excellent. Let's see. Mi estimada Yesenia Palacios, que solo aparece algo verde ahí. No sé si está... Okay, excellent. Go ahead. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No se me pase más de cinco segundos. Uh, I was, I was six weeks ago. Y ese dos, y ese dos, eh, ¿qué pasó? Lo, uh, lo regalamos o qué se llama? I was I was sick two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, excellent, very good. Uh, mi estimado Joseph David, please be my guest. Eh, sería
you were at home yesterday? Mm, or were you la... no, were, were, were you at home yesterday? Mm. Oh, perdón, perdón. Eh, otra. Ah, eh... oh, oh, there was. Es la que donde está la flechita. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Bien, bien ahí, pero no, 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 no la, no logro. Acuérdese que, acuérdese que cuando estamos hablando del subject, verb, auxiliary, com complement, en este caso, ¿cuál sería ahí el subject? ¿O de qué, está, de qué estaríamos hablando? Si no estamos hablando de usted, de ella, de, de él, de ellos, de, de, de nosotros. ¿Cuál sería el subject, el subject ahí? Como el día. Mm. O la temperatura. The, was... the weather. The weather, right? The weather. weather. Uh -huh. The ¿Qué weather quieres? was hot last Sunday. Excellent. The weather was hot last Sunday. Very good. All right. So, very good, very good, very good. Okay. So, ¿qué quiere decir weather? El clima. El clima, clima, ¿verdad? Excellent. All right. Uh, Alma Patricia, be my guest, please. Vean la, fo la, vean, la, vean la fotografía que está acá siempre, ¿no? para que se guíen. You were busy. Yesterday. Excellent. Very good. You were busy yesterday. Let's repeat everybody. You were busy yesterday. Okay. Everybody repeat. You were busy yesterday. You were busy you are yesterday. Busy yesterday. yesterday. Busy yesterday. Okay. Excellent. Quiero ver que me escribió acá. Estoy teniendo problemas con el internet. Okay, Pamela. En ese caso, pues, le sugiero que... Uh, no sé, tal vez reiniciando el, el router. Ok, let's see. Vamos a ver quién es más está por acá. Lo que no tienen la cámara encendida. ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Adriana Gabriela, be my guest, please. Adrianita, please, go ahead. The concert. Yeah. The concert was considered. Okay, alguien que me ayude a la semana aquí. The concert was canceled. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué? Because of the weather. The bad weather. Because of the bad, bad weather, weather, right? Excellent. Very good. Right on my class. Let's see. Uh, Brenda Esmeralda, please be my guest. Let's see. Ya salió, ¿verdad? Pero let's repeat it one more time. Brenda Esmeralda, Corrias, Corrias, are you there? No se encuentra Brenda, ok, vamos a renovarlo. Vamos a ver, Carlos Mar, uh, no, Carlos ya me participó, creo yo. Ah, oh, sí, me participó, Carlitos. Let's see, Jennifer Elizabeth Portillo, be my guest. Um, the weather was. Uh, last Sunday. The weather was what? Hot. Hot last Sunday. Very good. Excellent. 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 All right, Karen Guadalupe, please. Mm, Tania. Was. Uh, yesterday, I don't know. No, you can do it. Remember, what was is the yesterday the what Danny? Is, what is the formula? Yes, remember about the formula mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Who, who's the subject? Was Danny 
At yesterday the party? Mm, no. Acuérdese de la fórmula. Danny was. Danny was. Danny was at yesterday, yesterday. At the party. No, Danny was at the, the party. party yes. <laughs> Very good, excellent, excellent. Very good. Let's see one second. Mario Jose David, quiero eh, ver. Luis Antonio Ortiz Benitez, please be my guest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Todo lo mismo sale, permítame. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Okay. ¿A quién mencioné? Mi teacher. Okay, the movie was exciting. The movie was exciting, right? Very good, very good. ¿Está fácil el tema o está difícil, guys? Being honest. It's easy, right? Easy, easy, easy. Easy, 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 right? Easy, easy. Very good, very good. Okay. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Mr. Luis Alberto, be my guest, please. We're in, we're in no day waiting less. Remember the formula first, right? Who's going to be when, first? ¿Quién va a ser when, primero? ¿Quién va a ser, mm -mm. ¿Quién va a ser primero? ¿Cuál dijo, teacher? La donde está la flechita, la que le señala la flechita. Ah, when, when, how many day waiting less? No, pero ahí me, ahí me sale, me sale, ahí me, me la tiene que armar, mi estimado, me tiene que armar la oración. La oración. Uh -huh. uh, well, Luis, you can do it, you can do it. No, 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 no veo bien la, la. Alguien que me la ayude, por favor. Me. They weren't. They weren't. They weren't. They weren't. Home last weekend. Home last weekend. They weren't home last weekend, right? Very good, very good, excellent. Let's see who is here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, not a problem. Let's see who else is here. William Vladimir Mulato, please be my guest. Uh, she was in uh, the uh, delivery. She wasn't. What else? She wasn't. At the library. At the library. Let's repeat. Uh, library. She, she, let's repeat. She wasn't at the library. She wasn't mm -hmm. at the library. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, who who wants to participate? Mm -hmm. Me. Okay, go ahead. Christian. Okay, Chrissy, I'm sorry. All right, go ahead. The concert was canceled, but all the because water, water. Okay, the, the concert was canceled because of bad weather, right? Of bad the bad weather. weather. Bad weather. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Nidia, be my guest, please. We weren't alone. We weren't alone. Very good. Very good. Uh, Camila, ya participó o está enojada? La vida seria. Are you mad at me? <laughs> okay, excellent. All right, let's go. Let's go, Camila. You may guess. Then Wendy. Easy quizzy. You're on mute. He was at the game. He was at the game. Yes, he was at the game. Easy quizzy. All right, so let's see. Wendy, be my guest. Okay. Let's see. Okay. 
Were you busy yesterday? Were you busy yesterday? Yes, very good, excellent. Were you busy yesterday? Re let's repeat everybody. Were you busy yesterday? Were you busy, Were you busy yesterday? yesterday? Excellent, all right, very good. Let me just, uh, let's see. Let me stop the recurrent over here. I'm sorry, let me stop the class and let me pass leads because the class was so, uh, how do you say this? It was so nice. Entertain it. Let's see. One second. Mm -hmm. One second. Let me pass this right now. Dun, dun, dun. Es el grupo de Adriana. Sí. Ah, okay. Yes. Ex excellent. Excellent. Eighteen. All right, Adriana Gabriela Enriquez Vasquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Alma Patricia Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Ana Lisette Avalos Alvarado. Ana Lisette Avalos Alvarado. Here, I guess. Brenda Esmeralda Carías Carías. Present. One second, let's say Brenda. Okay. Ana is not here, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, Bryant, Bryant Alexander Tejada, Francia. Brian Alexander Tejada, Francia. Okay, he's not here. Camila Lisset Casum Vialta. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Carlos Mario Lopez Ayala. Present. Thank you, sir. Uh, Doris Emilia Alfaro de Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Elvis Leonel Lopez uh, Guevedo. Estela Marisol Vasquez Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Eva Alicia Constanza Alvarado. Eva Alicia Constanza Alvarado. There. Uh, Francisco Samuel Sanchez Corbera. Francisco Samuel Sanchez Corbera. It's not here. Iris uh, Milena Mejia Moran. Iris Milena Mejia Moran. Here. Jennifer Elizabeth Portillo Hernandez. Present coach. Thank you, Miss. Jose David Rodriguez Mendez. Present coach. Thank you. Karen Guadalupe Cetino Cabrera. Present. Thank you. Patricia Dorila Mejiva Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Luis Alberto Mejiva Santa Maria. Yes. Luis Alberto Mejiva Santa Maria. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Luis Antonio Ortiz Benitez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Mauricio Enrique Crespin López. Mauricio Enrique Crespin López. Present, teacher. Ok. Mercedes Elizabeth Barrientos de Vale. Mercedes Elizabeth Barrientos de Vale. She's not here. Ok, Nidia Yamilex Calero Trejo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rosa Irma Flores de Linares. Rosa Irma Flores de Linares. Ok, Sarina Susana Galvez Seren. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Tatiana Maria Hernandez Dubon. Present, teacher. 
Thank you. Wendy Lisette Cruz Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Wilber Enrique Jacinto Martinez. Present. Thank you, sir. William Vladimir Mulato Guevara. Present. Thank you. Yesenia Maribel Palacio de Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Yesenia Pamela Hernandez Arrucha. Yesenia Pamela Hernandez Arrucha. She's not here. All right. Si no le he mencionado, ahí me avisa. Vamos a ver, tal vez alguien en el chat me ha escrito. Vamos a ver quién está aquí, teacher. Mi pantalla se ve verde porque está roto mi cel y tiene cinta. Ah, oh, no se preocupe. Teacher, tengo mala red. Ok, very good. Ok, let's get back on track. We have 10 minutes remaining. And let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. Ok, let's see. Just a moment. Let me share this with you. All right, guys, uh, let's see. We have some examples over here, right? Related to the topic that we just checked together. Okay, so this is just a, a refresher. Este es un refrescante, el cual lo vamos a aplicar en estos últimos nueve minutos que nos quedan, ¿verdad? Aquí están las fórmulas, si gusto, bueno, ya se las mandé, ¿verdad? Creo que se las mandé al chat, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí ya le queda más claro, ¿verdad? Vamos a contestar este que está acá, creo que ya tiene experiencia, una experiencia de una hora, creo que es suficiente, ¿verdad? Somos más que inteligentes, ¿verdad? Somos más que vencedores en este caso, ¿verdad? Somos campeones. All right, so complete each statement, right, was, or where. So what would be the answer for the first one that says the weather was or, was or were bad last weekend? Was or, was or were? Was. The weather was, right? Very good, very good. My friends, was or were at school? Where? 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 Where, right? Because we're talking about friends, ellos, acuérdese. A eso tiene que tenerlo así como like. Así como que lo piense así como ustedes, ah, friends, ¿quiénes son los amigos? Ellos, ok. Entonces, de ellos ya se acuerda de la fórmula, ok. So, number three, the movie was great or the movie were great? Was. 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 All right, so what about si aquí le, le pusiera the movies? ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? Was where, or where? Where? Sí, pero, sí, ¿verdad? Porque son las. ¿Y quiénes son las? Ellas, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ellas, ¿verdad? Entonces, las películas fueron yeah. excelentes. All right, very good. Number four. Jack and Sophie were or was neighbor last year? Where? 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 Where okay, because we're talking about Jack and Safi, right? Number five, two months ago, I was or I were in Spain. I was, I was, I was in Spain, right? Excellent. Number six, the party was or were on Monday afternoon. Was, was. the party was, right? Yeah, what is it? Si le quisiera poner parties, ¿qué cambiaría en esa palabra party? ¿Qué tendría que, qué tendría que, que omitir y, y agregar? The letter la Y en A, A, N, E. Letter Y, state of, letter Y, la quito y le pongo. I, N, E. I, N, E, right? Parties, parties. We're parties. talking about parties, right? S at the end, right? So the parties were on Monday afternoon. So, pero en este caso es the party was, porque solo habla de una fiesta. Number seven, my sister was or were 18 in, in 2014. Was. 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 Excellent. And number eight, there, there were, there, there was a great game at the stadium last night. Was. There was a great game, right? Because está hablando solamente de uno, ¿verdad? In my old neighborhood, there were or there were or there was a mall around the corner. Was. Was. 
was, right? Because it's talking about just one mall. One mall, pardon. All right, let's see. And, oops, sorry. Okay, and last one. Number 10. This morning, all the trains are or were late. Where? Where, right? Where? Why, why were? For the plural? Plural, right? right. Sure. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, as you can see, guys, over here, we do have some information, right? So, if you want, you can take a, a screenshot, all right? So, and you can have it for your records, okay? Si usted le puede tomar una captura de pantalla, aquí está bien explicado, ¿verdad? Me dice, ¿dónde va a aplicar? Lo que hablábamos con Carlitos, ¿verdad? I was happy. ¿A dónde va a aplicar el was? El auxiliar was. ¿Y a dónde va a aplicar el auxiliar were? Acuérdese que solo hemos estado practicando ahorita affirmative statements. Negative, sta negative statements would be the same thing. The only thing that in this case, you will change, right? So instead of said, I was happy, usted va a decir, I wasn't, I wasn't happy or I was sad, que sería lo opposite, right? I wasn't, I wasn't sad. No estaba triste. He wasn't thirsty. Let's ¿Qué? repeat. Ay, Let's repeat. I wasn't sad. I wasn't sad. He wasn't thirsty. She wasn't. She wasn't a teacher. She wasn't a teacher. It wasn't small. It wasn't small. We weren't late. We were. We were not late. We weren't at home. We were They weren't noisy. They weren't noisy. They weren't noisy. They weren't noisy. I was happy. I was happy. He was hungry. He was hungry. She was a nurse. She was a nurse. It, it was big. It was a big. We were early. We were, we were early. early. You were at school. You were at school. At school. They were quiet. They, they were, were quiet. quiet. Excellent. So, let me know. I mean, let me ask you. Do you know all the words that we have here, guys? Do you know what it what what is the meaning of quiet, noisy, uh, thirsty? Do you know that? If you don't, I'll let you know. All right. So remember that you need to have your translator tool active, right? Tiene que tener su su herramienta de tra de traductor el traductor como herramienta a la mano. Por si no sabe, usted rapidito, verdad? Boom. Se va delante del teacher. All right. So. In this case, diría, they weren't noisy. Ellos no, no estaban ruidosos. Ellos no estuvieron, no estuvieron, no, no estuvieron haciendo ruido. ¿Verdad? El otro sería, they were quiet. Ellos estaban, ellos estaban bien callados. ¿Verdad? They were quiet. So, y aquí abajo, as you can see, usted puede ver las preguntas, perdón, las fórmulas, cómo las va a aplicar. ¿Verdad? Remember that wasn't, you can use was not. All right, so, and you can use were not. All right, si usted escucha eso, pues quiere decir lo mismo. It's equal, como dijo el maestro anteriormente, all right? So, let's see what else. We, we do have the, the information over here, which is the formula donde usted va a aplicar las preguntas, ¿verdad? Donde dice lo que hablábamos hoy temprano, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo vamos a aplicar where, why, and when? ¿Y cómo vamos a aplicar los auxiliares? Where was, y ahí le pone el complemento, where was, in, y lo termina, ¿verdad? Entonces dice, why was he, why was he, why was he angry? All right, so, acuérdense que angry and hungry is different, right? Hungry, it's, así como estamos algunos ahorita con que queremos ir a comer, 
Y Angry es también como estamos otros que nos tuvieron todo el día, ¿verdad? Que estuvimos un poco enojados, ¿verdad? En el trabajo y nos dieron un día, nos hicieron un día de cuadritos, ¿ok? So, do you have any questions so far, guys? No questions. No question. No question. Okay, guys. No question, teacher. No very good, very good. Remember, tomorrow we need to be on time. If you if you have to complete the platform or if you already completed, it, very good. All right. So congratulations. And tomorrow will be our last day, right? So I see you tomorrow. Try to be on time and have a wonderful rest of the night. Okay. I see hope you. Tomorrow. I Thank hope you, you like this class. Very good. Thank you. See you tomorrow. 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 Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.